Burtz here, and this is Easy Access Math. And today, we are going to use substitution to find the equation of a line passing through two points which you are given. Now, this is a substitution method. This is not an algebraic method that you would need to do on a test that's not multiple choice. And so I recommend, if you'd like, to watch some videos on YouTube. Just uh, put in the search bar, find the equation of a line passing through two points that you are given, and you'll see great videos on that. But I want to show you the substitution method. It's foolproof and will get you to the right answer on a multiple choice test. So here I have my choices. I have five equations. And I can use substitution with the points to each of those equations until I find the equation that works for both points. This could be a long process. It takes patience. But if you remember, some questions on tests should take you a short amount of time, and you can budget that time for questions like these where you can use substitution. And if you use substitution correctly, Remember your signs, your order of operations. They are very important to remember those skills because you want to be careful when you do substitution. And if you do it correctly and check your work, when you come up with the answer that works for both, that are equal on both sides of an equation, for both sets of points, you will have the right answer. So substitution is a good alternate method. Also good as a check. Now, remember with each point, the first variable is always x, and the second is always y. So I'll label those right away. So I have one point where the x is 5 and the y is 25, and I have a second point where the x is 0 and the y is 10. And I going to find an equation that works for both of these points, both of these coordinates. Uh, and that would be the equation of a line passing through those two points. And I'll do it one at a time. I have five choices here. Let's look at A. For A, I have Y, which I'm going to put there, equals 4X plus 5. Now I'm going to substitute the y. I'll start with that point, and I'll substitute the x as well with the actual numbers in the coordinates. And I have 25, which is y, equals 4 times 5 plus 5. Let's see if that's true. Well, 25 equals 4 times 5 is 20 plus 5, and 20 plus 5 is 25. It works. It works, but only for this point so far. You need the equation that works for both. So now we will try it with the other coordinate, with the other point, with those two numbers for x and y. And I'll copy it again, still working on a. It worked for the first one, so I'll try it for the second one. If it doesn't work for the first point you try, don't even bother doing it with the second point. You need the equation that works for both. So I have y equals 4x plus 5. Remember, I'm still using the first point. And I will substitute now. Make my room for that. Equals 4 plus 5, and this time I'm substituting these coordinates, so it's 10 for the y. Remember, y is the one that's first, so be careful what you're plugging in. And 4 times 0 for the x plus 5. Let's see. 10 equals 4 times 0 is 0. Uh-oh, 0 plus 5 is 5. 10 doesn't equal 5. So it worked for one point, and we were really happy. And now we're kind of sad. It didn't work for the second point. 
it can't be the answer. It only worked for one. You need the one that works for both. So yes, we did all that work and we didn't get the answer, but we know A is not the choice. We stay calm now. I told you, this one can be time consuming. Budget your time and you will get the answer. Let's try B. Let's substitute for B now. Uh, B is Y equals 3X plus 10. I'll make room to substitute now using the numbers. 3 and leave room for the X. And let's take a look. I have 25 for the Y equals 3 times 5 plus 10. 25, 3 times 5 is 15, 15 plus 10, wow, that works, it's 25. It works again for the first point. But as we know from choice A, that doesn't mean it's the answer. It has to work for both coordinates, for both points. So now, it did work for one. I'm halfway there. If it works for this set, this coordinate, this x and y, that's our answer. Let's take a look. I'll write the equation again. y equals 3x plus 10. This time plugging in this coordinate for x and y. And this time I have 10 equals 3 times 0 plus 10. 10 equals 3 times 0, anything times 0 is 0, plus 10, 0 plus 10, 10. Hey, that worked for both. That is my answer. It worked for both sets of points, both, both coordinates, both sets of numbers, both sets of x and y worked for this equation. It equaled on both sides. This one only worked for one. This worked for both. You can test out C, D, and E. It may work for one or none, but only B worked out for both. And this is how you use substitution to find the equation of a line when given two points and when given the choices of equations on a multiple choice test. As I said, there are great videos in watching the algebraic method. This method was using substitution as an alternate or as a check.